My name is Tamika Felder. I'm a 20-year cervical cancer survivor. When I was diagnosed with cervical cancer, it was coming off of the heels of so much happening in my life. I was living out all the dreams I had written in my diary growing up of the things that I wanted to do, where I wanted to live, and I felt so accomplished. I felt like, wow, I did that. I achieved the things that I wanted. And just like that, the bottom fell out while everything else in my life was so bright and going so well. And that diagnosis for me came out of nowhere. I realized there was still so much of life that needed to be lived. There were still so many things that I needed to experience and I didn't want cancer to take away the opportunity to live a life that I still wanted to live beyond that cancer diagnosis. The impact of cancer is lifelong. It's not something that I can shake and say, I'm putting this in the past and I'm never thinking about it again. When you're diagnosed with cervical cancer, you're thrust into this world of things that you've never heard before, decisions that you have to quickly make, and some that will impact your life forever. And ultimately, you're trying to decide a plan of action there wasn't a lot of stories that I could lean on from other women who had been diagnosed with cervical cancer. Being a black woman in the cancer space in general is something that you don't see a lot of people sharing their stories. When you talk about cervical cancer, a lot of women of color don't want to share their stories. So I wanted to shift that narrative. In order to close health disparities, we have to share our stories. My story is important. I know whether you're diagnosed with stage zero cancer, or stage four, every experience with cervical cancer matters. As I started seeking those stories, I was blown away just how vastly different the stories were. Even though we were all diagnosed with cervical cancer, we each had our own walk with it. You can't look at someone who's had cervical cancer and see how their life has been impacted. My cancer experience is something that is gonna be with me forever. That's why it's important to have a community. It's important to be able to speak up when I ask women to share their stories, I'm asking them to feel inspired. I'm asking them to feel empowered. I'm asking them to give hope to others. We heal ourselves by sharing our stories, but also because we know that when we share our experience, it gives a different lens to what we went through. We've created a community, a community of patients who are willing to share and help each other. We're not doctors, we're experts of our experience with cervical cancer and how it's impacted us. And it's a beautiful thing to see other people while they might be struggling in their journey with cervical cancer, helping someone else by guiding them through the process. It's taking a lot of time and building trust for people to feel comfortable enough to share their stories. And now we have a community that's filled with people all over the world. I'm working with CGEN and GenMab to elevate cervical cancer voices because we all want to be seen. See me, this is what I've been through. See me, this is my journey. See me and know that this is one of the faces of cervical cancer.